My name is Kurt Jensen, and I'm a certified technical expert at Hank Greff Chevrolet in Davidson. The video you're about to view should give you a thorough explanation of how things work. I personally viewed it myself and found it to be very informative. Enjoy! It's important for Corvette owners to get a full explanation of how their Stingray will communicate with them. And the primary point for this is the instrument cluster and driver information center. The center part of the screen is an interactive display that can be changed based on driver request. These requests are made through the right steering wheel control. This button is used to open the different items and displays. Here are the basic control methods. Press the left arrow to access the list of cluster applications. Use the up or down arrow to scroll through the list. And press in on the five-way button to make a selection. Press the left button to access the cluster. Using the up and down arrows, you can navigate to specific selections, including info, performance, audio, phone, nav, and settings. To make a selection, highlight the item and press the select button or right button. Selecting info will provide menu items that include trip A or B, average fuel economy, tire pressure, and many more. Navigate among these and other selections using the up and down arrows. Note that in some cases, there are little arrows around the screen that act as navigational aids. Also, in some cases, the right arrow is used to access other features. Use the arrow to move to performance. Press select and a variety of performance outputs using the up and down arrows to scroll through the menu. Selectable items include G-Force, friction bubble, performance timer, oil temperature, and many more. Using the right button will bring any of these items up in greater detail. Press select to bring up audio. This screen will conform to the center screen. Make audio selections from this point. The right button will allow more options. Press select to bring up phone. This screen will conform to the center screen. Using a paired phone, you can view recent calls, make phone calls, bring up your phone book, and more by using the right button. Press the select to bring up the nav screen. This will show information from the center screen, will bring up the navigation menu for a route selection, or to continue with an existing route. Use up and down arrows to navigate the screen. Press the select button to bring up the setting screen. Use the up and down arrows to scroll through the selections. An important selection to understand is the display setting. This will change screen appearance to match the desire of the driver. Use the right arrow to display selections. Driver mode is the default setting. Weather, Eco, and Tour are linked to the Tour display. Sport and Track are linked to their respective displays. Touring, Sport, and Track override the linkage and use that display regardless of driver mode. Up and down arrows are used to highlight the selection. Tour display provides tachometer along with items that are also displayed on the center screen. This display is optimized for navigation, audio, and phone information as well as full status display. Select Sport, which features traditional Corvette gauges. This display will show a circular tachometer centered in the display. The DIC is contained within the tachometer ring. Additionally, there are two configurable pocket gauges in the lower left and right corners. Pocket gauges are selectable using the right arrow key. Selections include oil pressure gauge, oil temperature gauge, battery voltage, transmission fluid temperature gauge, or a blank gauge. Select track. This is generally the selection used for competition use. It is patterned after the C6R race car display. This includes a specialized tachometer appearance along with the stopwatch and lap timers located in the upper left-hand corner. Also prominent on the tachometer are red line markings and shift lights that allow the driver to quickly view and react to engine RPM. This information and more can be found in sections 5 and 9 of the owner manual. I hope that video presentation is you confident on how to operate your personal car technology. If you have any questions, please contact me by phone, email, or at my website, www.graphguru.com. Thanks again for watching, and have a great day.